SpaceX isn't the only company looking to build a giant satellite internet constellation. OneWeb launched 34 satellites towards their constellation just yet. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, here to give you an update on the new space race. This is the race to bring broadband satellite internet to the entire world. Now, we've covered SpaceX several times here over this past year because they just had a lot of activity going on, and they're actually now up to 240 satellites of their planned mega constellation in orbit and are saying they might have service by the middle of 2020 for certain parts of North America. But there is another company that has been at this even longer than SpaceX and has equally audacious plans, and that is OneWeb. Now, the last time we talked about OneWeb was last February, when OneWeb launched their first six satellites, actually ahead of SpaceX's first big launch. Um, but then OneWeb has been kind of in silent um, stealth mode for the past year while they tested those six satellites, made sure their design worked, made sure all their ground stations were coming online and they were getting all the infrastructure in place. But now OneWeb is back and they're be ready to begin a monthly pace of launching between 30 and 36 satellites per month towards building out of their constellation. And the first launch of this was last night and it was quite spectacular. They had a completely successful launch. They have a, a satellite deployment device that goes up and it pops off four satellites at a time, like popping off kernels of corn off of a corn on the cob. And, um, it did its job, delivered 36, uh, 34 satellites into orbit, and um, now OneWeb is starting this launch campaign to bring service out. Wow, okay, when will this be here? Because they're planning to bring broadband to everyone everywhere on Earth is their company goal. Well, they still have a long way to go. They need 650 satellites in orbit to turn on service. So it is a two-year campaign. It won't be until the end of... Uh, well, the fourth quarter of 2021, that OneWeb will be able to bring out service globally. Although they say, because the satellites all converge at the Arctic, that they're aiming to have the first commercial broadband service in the Arctic by the end of 2020. So if you are uh, um, northern uh, Canada, um, up in Alaska, or doing Antarctic expeditions, well, maybe OneWeb will be your go-to by this time next year. Um, one other interesting new revelation with OneWeb is they have made it clear that unlike SpaceX, they're not looking to be an ISP. They're not going to sell service directly to consumers. They are actually always going to work through local partners um, and partners targeting various markets and such. So OneWeb will not be offering, go to your website, go to their website, sign up for service, get your terminal shipped to them and everything like that. That's the model that SpaceX wants to go down. OneWeb instead will work with local wireless ISPs or maybe cellular companies or maybe companies that decide to service just the RV market or just the boating market or so on and so forth. So there'll be lots of different OneWeb powered services with lots of different plans, pricing, and limitations, all of which we won't know a thing about for uh, probably at least another year, year and a half, or even two years. So interesting stuff. This uh, is a very, very impressive constellation. It's designed to start at 650 satellites and scale up to nearly 2,000 um, and provide very, very fast, low latency broadband everywhere on the planet. And even with just their six test satellites, OneWeb has demonstrated um, over 400 megabits per second speed and um, 40 millisecond latency, which is very impressive. And they've also shown off a 5-inch antenna, just a tiny 5-inch little stick-on antenna that is able to aim at their satellites without physically aiming, just digitally aim. And that tiny little antenna is able to do 20 megabits per second speed, and they say it only costs them $15 to manufacture. So they've got a lot of really exciting technology. This is part of the revolution that will completely transform what Internet from Space might be all about, but we still have to wait quite a while for more details. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.